Hello everyone. Welcome to ETCV 530, Multimedia Applications in Education. My name is Chris Johnson and I'm your instructor for this course. So as we get started, remember, keep calm and let's have fun. Because in this course, we are going to explore a variety of new digital tools. So you'll take what you know about some digital tools and digital learning and assessment, learn about new tools and apply them in a culminating project called problem-based learning. So let's take a look at each of those projects in a little bit further detail. If you've taken classes from me before, you know about an ongoing project called I've Been Thinking. This is a weekly discussion in which you will moderate a discussion for a week. Check the I've Been Thinking project for details on this project and the week that you're scheduled for. I currently have not scheduled anyone, so if you want to take a first crack at this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be signing you up randomly. We will then begin a series of projects that starts with just thinking about creativity and how you might encourage creativity in your students. We'll then look at organizing understanding through mind mapping. Now, mind mapping is a little different from the concept mapping that you did in 5.11 and realize that throughout the program, your instructors are probably going to be asking you to do concept maps or mind maps because they are a great way for expressing understanding. Speaking of expressing things, you'll learn how to express information or visualize information or data through infographics. You'll also learn about protecting your digital tattoo. You'll continue building your digital toolbox by identifying and reviewing a series of digital tools. And you'll apply all of that to a problem-based learning project. Then we'll wind up the course with you revisiting creativity. So each of these projects is described in further detail in the course. Here we are in the course. During the first week of the course, you want to make sure that you look at the course introduction by begin the course here. It's also listed here. Go through the syllabus and all the other information. Please make sure that you look at the class participation project as there is something due this Friday. Basically, your introductions and confirming information. I'd also suggest that you take some time to just look through each of the projects to make sure that you have an understanding of what it is that I'm going to expect from you. If you scroll down on the main page, you'll see a calendar of all of the events coming up in the course. Information on each of the projects can be found in the content area. I simply provide this as a quick way for you to get to that information. So let's look at content real quick. Here we are on the content page. And it starts with the course information that has the information that I have out on the main page. So it's the course introduction, the syllabus, those things that you should look over in the first week. Make sure that you check out class participation because as I mentioned, you have an assignment due this Friday. I'd also suggest looking at the I've been thinking assignment if you haven't done this with me before in one of my other classes. Then just make sure that you look at each of the modules to get a good feel as to what's going to happen. So for example, in encouraging creativity, you'll see that there's a file with the directions, a discussion, and a Dropbox for the creativity lesson idea. Clicking on the file, it will take you through the purpose of the project, the due dates, an introduction, all the steps you need to complete it, how to submit your assignment, and the assessment. Make sure that you take a careful look at the rubrics that I use for assessment because you should be able to get an exemplary on each project. And if you receive 90% exemplaries for the course, you receive an A. So make sure that you look through all of the requirements for the project to get an understanding of what it is that I'll be looking for. Now, as I often say, I know that I write the absolute best directions ever. However, there will be questions. So if you do have any questions or concerns about a project, please let me know. Email is the best, cgj at email.arizona.edu, 
or you can call or text me at 520-991-7304. Texting is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. Also, keep in mind, I do have an extra credit option called Turnabout is Fair Play. In looking through my directions, if you do find a typo, let me know about it, and you get 0.5 points for it. The only other option I'd like to point out, if you're not familiar with it, is our Adobe Connect tool. We will have three meetings, one at the beginning of the semester, one in the middle, and one at the end. And I'll be sending dates out as to when these meetings are. They will be on Wednesday evenings from 6 to 7. If you can't make the meeting, I have an alternative assignment. But the way you access the meeting is to come to UA Tools and click on Adobe Connect. When you click on the Adobe Connect link, you'll be brought to this page and there's a button that says Join Meeting. I'd also like to point out that if you'd like to meet with anybody else in the class and set up your own meeting, you're more than welcome to do that. You can set up your own study groups. So that's it for this introduction to ETCV 530 Advanced Multimedia. I look forward to working with everybody and to what I know will be the great projects that you'll come up with.